It's Dr. Steve, Massive Subconscious Mind, and Doctor Who Fixes 100% of orthopedic issues not related to cancer, fracture, or infection. And I put together a pamphlet for people in the office on oxidative phosphorylation. It's the pro-metabolic diet and how we should be eating so that you can make energy efficiently. And that way you don't have to do crazy detoxes to get your body to function properly. Because there's no reason to detox if you're eating the right foods. Your body just does it if we have all the necessary cofactors that are there. So one of the things that's in there is I talk about oxalates. And oxalates are plant compounds. These plant compounds are found in spinach and kale and eggplant and chocolate and coffee, Swiss chard, pumpkin, and sweet potatoes. Now we can reduce this oxalate load by boiling these foods or by sprouting foods, right? These, there's a way of doing this that we can reduce the oxalate by 60%, but if we don't cook it that way, and we're doing raw kale smoothies, and we have a high oxalate content, it's very problematic because it disrupts something called sulfation. And sulfation is absolutely crucial because it helps us make strong protein bonds. It, it helps us make hormones. It helps with neurotransmitter production, right? So it helps aids in detoxification. So all these factors are absolutely crucial. And if your metabolism is slow, that might be another thing that's causing it. These raw, these raw kale smoothies are actually slowing people's metabolism because it's disrupting our body's ability to produce energy. So when, when I talk about these oxalates, they're, they're plant compounds and they bind to your minerals and pull them out. And those minerals are essential to making catalyst reactions to happen in your body. They, they create chemical reactions because they are uh, electromagnetic and they charge so that fluid can move between the cell membrane and, and such things. But the one thing is, is if we don't rid of these foods or at least reduce them, and you're, especially if you're genetics related to this, it does lead to health issues and it can lead to IBS, autoimmune diseases, cyst formation, mood disorders, arthritis, poor circulation, fatigue, brain fog, and neurological disorders. So a lot of these things that people are suffering from could possibly be from these plant compounds that are there. So we always want to reduce these oxalates. They're very problematic and what you've been told about health and nutrition oftentimes has factors that are left out or missing. So it's something to take a look at. You can tell if you're high in oxalates. So you can do an organic acid test to test if you have the, those and that is a problem for you. But bottom line is, is we want to look at the foods we're putting in our body. So avoid oxalates, limit them, and you might see your health improve and soar through the roof.